strikes for Rovers. A fantastic start for Featherstone Rovers. Uh, Andy, Halifax 12, Rovers 24, a superb effort. Yeah, we uh, scored plenty of points there, so pretty pleased with that. And uh, a real tough place to come, Halifax, and, and get a win. And I thought we made it hard for ourselves, and, and Halifax certainly made it difficult for us. And you know, really pleased with the performance and pleased with the win. A great defensive effort from Rovers as well, especially in the first half. They've only conceded the one try from a mistake. Yeah, yeah, we um, we talked about our defence last week, and probably needed to show a bit more enthusiasm and de desire in defending our line. And I think we got that this week. And you know the, uh, the the try in the first half was a disappointment, just from a, a, a poor sort of kick uh, kick reception from Jai. And apart from that, they, they, they did um, have a lot of pressure on us, and we defended it real well. So you know, it gives you confidence as a team. Uh, we've still got to learn about our game management, I think, and finishing our sets off a little bit better and getting our kicks where we need them to be. But we'll get there. Um, and you know, it's a tough place to come, and they've, they've been playing well up to now, Halifax, and you know, it's a real good win for us. How do you think the lads played here on Joel Edge from Wakefield? I thought they slotted in very well. Uh, you know, young Tom did a, a fair bit of work on the wing for us. Joe scored a nice try to put it to bed at the end. Uh, Peter, I thought he was under a lot of pressure as our halves were in that game from uh, from Halifax's defence, and uh, they performed well. Uh, and Trouty sort of filled in in the middle. So you know, really pleased with the performance from the guys from Wakefield, and you know, that's why we've got the Joel Reg to call upon them when we need them, and, and we're certainly needing them this week. Gareth Moore came off in the second half. He'd had a really good batch until he came off. Is he injured? Uh, he's got a bang. Uh, we're not sure what it is. He's got a bang on his shoulder. Again, took off the ball late in a tackle, which uh, is pretty disappointing from, from an opposition when they want to play tactics like that. So they tried to take him out and Pitter and, and uh, Sam and, and Andy Ellis as well. And they succeeded with Gaz, didn't they? Um, so he's, he's battled through his, his injury to make the game and then he's got another injury during the game but I thought while he was on he, he was organising really well and his kicking game was outstanding so uh, we'll just see how he is and hopefully he'll be right for next week Jordan Baldwinson as well another superb performance in the front row he was our man of the match yeah he's a young warrior isn't he he just uh, he turns up every week for us and does his job in the middle uh, he performs really well and plays really tough and plays above his age I suppose and you know, he's, he's good for us in the middle. He's, he's relentless in what he does, and you know, it shows through his training how he works and his work ethic in training transfers into a game for us. How important was it to get the win today uh, and the performance as well after last week and looking ahead next week to Lee? It was important for for the players themselves, I think, to get you know back on the horse and prove they weren't the team. Whatever we was talking about last week, I didn't think we were you know that bad against Bradford. We. Uh, you know, we we came up a, a good opposition on the day, and you know they're, uh, they're a quality outfit, and we probably stood off them a little bit too much, and we talked about that during the week. And you know, it's credit to to the boys who play today. They, they, they you know they did a job, and it's always important to get the two points. And you know, I'll, I'll take the two points all day off off the best performance we'll ever have. And you know, it's about building the points up and until the end of the year and staying in that top four. A massive match next week. Now looking ahead to Lee, they've won at Doncaster pretty comfortably as well. Yeah, they're a good side. Um, they've added they've added players into the squad, um, and they were a good side last year. So they're only going to have improved. Uh, so it's going to be a tough game for us. Uh, see how many knocks we've got, and see how many bumps and bruises we've got. We'll uh, we'll be in tomorrow. Uh, go through the video, have a look at what we need to do for Lee, and uh, come up with a, a game against them because we know it's going to be uh, a tough game for us. They haven't lost a game yet, so uh, it's going to be an exciting game down at Post Office Road. And we, you know, hopefully the fans get behind us again and see how many Lee can bring. And, for a big crowd. Can you give us any injury news on the players who have missed out today? Uh, not really. We've got a few bangs and, and, and knocks uh, from today and, and previously. Hopefully we'll, we'll see a few come back next week. Uh, I can't give you much more than that, to be honest. Any news on uh, Rennie and Ryan coming over from Australia as well? Yeah, Rennie's applying for his visa now, so he's, he's, uh, his clearance should be through and we're hoping he should be on a flight. Um, mid to late week so uh, we should have him in the country by next week um, Ryan's a little bit different it's gone to the embassy now and uh, we're chasing up with uh, what's happening with his Irish citizenship so we're just waiting for a bit more news on his but it's good news about Rennie and we're hoping he'll be here mid to, next, uh, mid to the end of next week Andy thanks for your time uh, I was just wanting to ask uh, there were 10 changes to the starting line up today um, is that something that will continue for next week, do you think? Or is there going to be 
more of a stable team lineup for next week? Uh, we're in the hands of Wakefield a little bit um, with some of the changes, but we'll, we're going to try for a bit of stability. Um, some of the changes were forced, um, some we had to make because of performance. Um, the whole back line changed and uh, it was great to have Gaz Moore back and, and Sharpie looked good back at the full back as well. So, um, you know, we're hoping not to make that many changes week in, week out, but, you know, a needs must and, and we needed to do that this week. So, uh, again, it's about consistency and we're looking at trying to get a consistent team together. And there was a swap between Hitchcock and Sharp uh, with Hitchcock going on to the wing, Sharp going to full back. Is that uh, something that you thought worked well today? Yeah, we know what Sharpie does there. And, and when we sign Jai, he can play full back, wing and centre. And um, With them three positions, he's, he's pretty competent in them all. And uh, I just want to look at Sharpie out the back, his energy and enthusiasm in the last couple of games. I uh, thought if we got him out of full back, he'd, he'd have more chance of getting his hands on the ball, which he did. And you know, he had a real good effort again. He's been the standout performer for us probably in the four games we've played. So uh, I think he deserves his crack there at full back and he enjoys it there.